Way to pick up one of those clutch hits. He's been your guy. There's a great statement. Don't tell me what you hit. Tell me when you hit it. Jose Abreu will get the job done late. He really hurts you when it counts the most for the Sox. Take you back to August 3rd against Milwaukee in Milwaukee. Game tying home run in the seventh, but he wasn't done. Drives this ball into left field. This is the next day. Game winning RBI single in the seventh inning. Once again against the Brewers. Jose has a habit of just stepping up at the biggest moments in the game. Last night it was 3 3. It was a tough ball game. Jose untied it, and Carnacion later hit another home run to give him some breathing room. But as you can see, he usually saves his best for these Tigers. You might even say he's the Tiger King. Got, uh, did I make that up? Anyway, the Tigers, 349, 21 home runs. But he's driven in 82 against them. Look at that slugging percentage, the best in the division. So Jose is leading the way with a lot of these young hitters around him. He's showing them when you have to come through and how you have to do it. Get more smiles here than you do on Tiger King. Lucas Giolito, bounce back effort available today. He's been pitching well overall for the most part this year. Uh, Lucas Giolito has been pitching well overall for this year. What do you want better from him today? He's had a couple of rough outings when he couldn't spot his fastball, but today he has his comfort man behind the plate. James McCann is catching him today. He caught him all year last year, and together, there was a simpatico that you really can't manufacture. So it's going to take Grandal a little bit longer to know the idiosyncrasies of Lucas. But what's going to happen is he's not going to shake him off. He's not going to be thinking about a location and see McCann in a different location. So they really work well together. Lucas wants a bounce back. He wants to sweep the series. He's going against a tough count. As we take a look at our insure on the spot starting lineup, get your free auto insurance quote in just two minutes. At InsureOnTheSpot.com, Candelario and Jones at the top, then Cabrera and Scope. Goodrum Stewart back in, the left-hander, Maven, Romine, and Willie Castro. Lucas Giolito goes to the hill in search of his second win. His ERA is a little higher than he would like, but a lot of strikeouts and innings pitched. He's got too many walks, 15 of them in 27 and two-thirds, so that's something that he's going to work on. Right-handers haven't hit him at all. And there are the key matchups for Roman. Candelario's done a nice job with three walks, so he's got a good eye. Scope is red hot, so that doesn't surprise me, but he'll be a factor today. Miguel Cabrera hasn't done much against Lucas, and hopefully that trend continues. Here's our UI health defense, and this is how Ricky Renteria is going to put him out there this afternoon with Aloy, Adam, and Nomar in the outfield left to right. Then it's Moncada, Anderson, Mendick, and Abreu in the infield with James McCann behind the plate. And the aforementioned Lucas Giolito on the hill. The umpires for the game this afternoon, Alex Tosi's got the plate. Chris Conroy is at first, David Rackley at second, Lance. And this is our Insure on the Spot starting lineup. Get your free auto insurance quote in just two minutes at InsureOnTheSpot.com. It's Anderson, Moncada, and Abreu, then Jimenez, Encarnacion, and Mazzara. James McCann, Danny Mendick, Adam Engel, your starting nine. We'll take a look at Spencer Turnbull on for his fifth start. He's been really good. Two and one in ERA, just above two and three quarters. 21 strikeouts and 22 and a third. He's got a pretty good straight chain. When he throws it anywhere from 83 to 84, it's very good. For Roman, you see the four-seam fastball is the staple. 44% then comes the sinker. So they're both fastballs. He'll throw a slider at 19%. The cutter, negligible. The changeup occasionally. But that changeup, when it's right, He's pretty good with it. Our UI Health defensive alignment for Ron Gardner. It's Stewart, Jones, and Maven in the outfield with Castro, Goodrum, Scope, and Candelario in the infield. Austin Romine once again behind the plate, and the aforementioned Spencer Turnbull on the hill.